What's going on today, Internet? Selfish Earth Retrospect. If you're anything like me, you probably have a pretty decent backlog on Steam. And this just happens to any of us, whether you get free games, or you're part of the Humble Bundle, or any of the other awesome programs that are out there for PC gamers. Well, today I'm going to show you how you can actually access that Steam catalog on your Android handheld, and help you get through some of that backlog. Hopefully give you a time to catch up on some of those games you've always wanted to play. Well, let's take a look. This is going to be a real simple and real short video, but I think it's going to help you out a lot. Like I said, this I think should help you get through your backlog because it doesn't allow games with DRM to work on here. So DRM free games are going to be what work, which tend to be what are in my backlog because if they sit there long enough, the DRM typically gets dropped off of them. We are going to go to Pluvia's GitHub page here, and I will put a link down on my thing with Bob for this. We'll get you a little closer to here on the camera. So we are on Pluvia's GitHub page. We're just going to go to this releases tab right here, and then we are going to scroll down to Universal APK. We're going to download that. Now I've downloaded this before so it's going to put a one next to it not a big deal and it is going to download pluvia now once the file is done downloading you will just have to go into your downloads folder and open it up and there it is so we're just going to open it up now mine's going to ask me to update yours will ask you to install if you've never installed this before not a big deal it's going to update Pluvia for me, even though it's already updated. And we'll just hit this open button here. Now, it will come to a page like this where you can log in, and this is for your Steam account. Now, I would recommend just using the QR reader on here if you have Steam installed on a tablet or a phone. And then all you have to do is tap here, read the QR code, and hit sign in. And it should allow you to sign into your account. And there we go. So, pretty easy thing to do right there. Now, these are, I believe, my DRM-free games. And because it won't play a game with DRM, I believe that it is is recycling out the ones that do have DRM on them. Also, this is a almost a overlay or front end to win later. So it's setting up all the settings that you need to in win later. Though, if you find games that aren't working and you want to try to make them work, you can go back and do that as well. Now, I can go here and if I just hit this button, I can just see what's installed already on here. Or I can go A to Z. And when you do this and you find something that you want to download, you just hit it and you hit the install button down here at the bottom. It'll tell you how many megabytes would you like to proceed seed how much space you have left and it's going to go through an install process now i don't know what this download button is for and maybe it just doesn't work yet i would assume that this would show that it's installing but it does not but if i go back here i actually have to go back and click on this again to see where the install progress is until it is done not a big deal they don't take real long to install if you are actually going through your backlog most of these games probably aren't very big like 8-bit bayonetta not a very big game also i've never played it i bought it when it came out never played it so now this is giving me an opportunity to go through that backlog now it may or may not work and you have a couple options after that you can either just remove it from the device if it doesn't work or you also have the ability to try to make it work and you can add different extensions and things like that so that would be the advantage of doing this on something like a snapdragon processor like we'd have here in the odin 2 mini pro also this is part of why i always recommend when you're doing something like an odin 2 or any other device that gives you an option in internal size to at least go to the middle if not the top because this along with other apps like Vita 3K, they all install their games to the internal memory, so you can go through your memory pretty quick. As you saw, I only had like 20 gigs left, and all the rest of that is from playing Vita 3K, except for the few games I've downloaded here on Pluvia. So we're going to hit the play button. We'll see if this one works. It may or may not. I've never actually played this game. Again, I bought this game when it came out, and this has been a never-ending demon soul inside of my backlog. Here we go. So now we can change our output and everything like that. We can decide if we want it to be windowed. Our input. The input controls are automatic on here. It does actually take the controller on your handheld, no matter what it is, and actually try to set it up for you without having to set anything else up but it looks like we have some options here because it is win later so these are mouse controls that it's showing on here which are i guess maybe fine we'll find out should we do this windowed or full screen the window just for kicks and giggles i'm kind of curious to see what it does when you play windowed oh yeah it does do it just like a normal windowed one i wasn't sure if the game does require mouse click you can actually at least with the odin go through the settings and log it that way so this does not look like it's going to want to play now we do have some options here i can either just delete it and give up on it and i'm hoping there'll be a list for for these someday that'll tell you what works and as things get updated maybe we'll get some more information on them as to what's working let's try this without playing it windowed and see what happens because it's really trying to get the game going the other thing we can try doing too is changing out which term drivers are on here you do have the ability to go through and maybe manage or you know feel like you know that a certain term driver works just fine and win later so in here you would be able to hit this and hit edit container and you'd be able to make those kind of changes in here so if you wanted to change the drivers, things like that, you can actually make those changes. 
right now it's running off a GTX Pro Force 2, I think. Uh, you can change that if you want to. Change your screen rendering, video size, all that kind of stuff. Any component you want to change in here, you can do. So if you play around with this enough, you might be able to get it to work. See if we can't just give it a little more CPU power and see if we can't grunt her through. Probably not going to be the answer, but enough tinkering, you can get just about any of these to work. So you just have to be patient. It does take some time. Ooh. That was almost enough, but continue to go through your container and you can continue to edit it and figure out what exactly the right answer is. We are running Turnip. We could try just to go to a Universal and see what happens. Turnip usually is gonna be the answer on these just because WinLater does work well with Turnip drivers and they're constantly updating. Now, if you've ever used Turnip drivers before, especially if you're doing like Switch emulation, anything like that, you'll know that some are better than others. So that was not the answer, but I do wanna show you how this works. So one of the games that I had pre-ordered and never had a chance to play, Conscript. And and lucky for me, that is like one of the 20% of games that I don't have any issues with on here. So you might get this message, and this tells me that Bully is running on my Steam Deck. Now I have exited that. This is new programming, so I, I'm not saying it's gonna be perfect. It has run into an issue where it thinks that I'm still playing, even though I'm not playing on my Steam Deck. Well, everything's gone to hell in a handbasket. I was playing all these games earlier. So this should show you an example of exactly how it works. So this is actually playing at speed. I know it looks a little slow, because that's just how this game is. But this fits within my backlog of games I've been trying to play for a long time and just have never never had an opportunity to get to it. I guess I shouldn't say I've never had an opportunity. I've just had other games to play at the time. Anyways, that shows you a really easy, simple way to get through your backlog on Steam. It's not going to work for everybody. It's not going to work for every game. Snapdragon processors tend to work the best because you have the ability to use Adreno drivers, but it does work with other handhelds as well. Maybe I'll do a demonstration for that on another handheld review. Think it's going to work? It's not a touchscreen game though. You got to use the buttons. Here. You got to use the buttons. There you go. There you go. Here, here, I'll drive. You aim, I'll shoot. No? You don't want to do it that way? I just want to do it. Okay. Can you sign off and tell them that uh, thanks for watching? Oh, okay. Tell them thanks for watching. Can you tell them to comment, rate, and subscribe? Share the video with their friends? Can you say share the video with your friends? You going to be camera shy? You all camera shy now? If there's any other videos like this you want me to make for you, well, let me know. I know this is a pretty simple video, and that was kind of the goal here, is to simplify this as much as possible. Nothing to be scared of. It's real simple. If you don't already have a Steam library, I would create one. And if you have an Amazon Prime account, Get on that quick because you get a lot of free games through GOG and Epic right now if you are a Prime member. Just throwing it out there. I know it, maybe you're not a PC gamer, but things like Win Later give you the ability to play some PC games without being a PC gamer to begin with. Also, don't forget to pick one of these videos up on the top of the screen that YouTube chose for you. They're pretty good with algorithms, so they're probably right. You're probably going to like it, but that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.